Welcome everybody to my YouTube channel. This is Kim Ivy Makeup here and today I'm featuring my signature bronze smoky eye, a little bit of glitter and full beat. I'll start by adding a base to my eyelids. This is the LA Girl uh, Pro Concealer and I just put that on my eyelids just to kind of make everything nice and smooth. If you guys want details on exact products that I've used, check the description bar. I've even tapped a little bit of white to the center of my eyelids and blend that out and that's going to help my bronze to really stand out. Here in the crease I'm placing Max Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Dark and I love the tone of this as my transition shade. I always use this as my transition shade. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful color. Now I'm going to take a nice brown eyeshadow and I'm going to sweep that on the outer corners of my eyes. The technique I like to use for my outer corner is to blend it up and inwards. I like to blend it inwards because it helps to kind of merge the uh, lid color that I'll be applying later and it also gives kind of like a nice kind of lift to the outside of my eyes and so I'll just keep applying this color until I get the intensity that I want and I'm kind of using that flicking motion on the end just to kind of blend as I go. Always check your work guys. Make sure that you're balanced on both sides, okay? And I'm going to take that same brush that I used before with, for the transition and just kind of smooth out make sure there are no harsh lines. Here on the lid, I'm using a beautiful bronze shade. I believe this is from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I did use Fix Plus on this shade because I wanted it a little bit more opaque than it shows on its own. And I went ahead right here and tapped a little bit of a bronze glitter on top just to give it a little extra oomph, a little bit more sparkle. Now I'll take that same outside uh, outer corner shade and I'll just kind of focus that on the outer corner blending it in towards the brown shade so that I can make sure everything's nice and smooth and blended. Here what I'm doing is I'm just kind of intensifying that outer corner. I want that outer corner nice and dark and sultry. So I'll just add in as much as I want until I get the color. And then I'll just take a makeup remover wipe and get rid of all that fallout and kind of do a little sweeping up motion on the outer corner before I get started with my concealer. Here I'm using the MAC Concealer in um, NC45 I believe and I love this shade because it literally it is a beautiful shade for me and the Studio Finish Concealer so as you guys know it's full coverage it literally covers up everything. Then I take my beauty sponge and I go ahead and just press it into the skin until it's nice and seamless and I love this technique because that concealer can get very thick and very heavy. So you want to make sure that you take your time, press that into the skin until it's nice and smooth before you get started with your foundation. For foundation today, I did use the uh, NYX Full Cover Drops. I only used like two drops or so and what I'm doing here is I'm just taking my time and blending it out to make sure that I've got a nice seamless coverage and you can't tell where that concealer stops and the foundation begins. I just blend everything all together until it's nice and seamless. And you see here as I kind of took it down the neck a little bit, just, just along that jawline, you want to make sure you take it all the way down there. You don't want to have that, that floating foundation head that we see sometimes. So just kind of take it down a little bit just below the jawline just to make sure your neck and your face blend together absolutely seamlessly. So just take your time with the blending process guys. I know it looks fast but it's a, it is a process. Here I'm using the Born This Way Concealer and I love this concealer for a couple of different reasons. Number one, it's a beautiful, beautiful hydrating concealer so it keeps it nice and uh, moisturized underneath the eyes and also this concealer has a beautiful yellow hue to it. I love the yellow hues uh, for my highlights guys when I found this concealer I was so excited and so now I'll just take my time at just as before and I'll go ahead and do some blend work. I like to save my eyes for last because I like my concealer to kind of sit on my skin and warm a little bit. And now I'll very, very gently just kind of press it into the skin around the eye area. Remember around your eye areas you want to be very delicate. And then whatever's left on that sponge I kind of take it into the smile lines and then around the lips as well guys. Just to keep everything nice and seamless. Okay, here is my powder. Now you want to be very generous with your powder whenever you're doing a full-on bead, a full-on glam. Be very generous with the powder. I personally do not bake. I just kind of press it into the skin 
and what I call it is the press and sit <laughs> I don't bake I don't let it sit there for like a long time I'm literally just going to apply my eyeliner like what you see here this is the Clinique black eyeliner I'm gonna smudge it out really quickly and um, apply it to the top waterline as well just to give my lashes a little bit more fullness and to make the look just look a little bit more smoky I like to use a pencil brush just to kind of move all of the product around right here as you can see just smoke that out really quick and then we'll go ahead and remove that powder I know this video is sped up but it that powder maybe sat there about two minutes it literally sat there at the time it took me to just much that I that I um, liner out so um, what you want to do is you want to make sure you get rid of all that white powder and you want to make sure that you cover everywhere you use that white powder with a skin toned um, pressed powder here I'm adding the MAC mineralized skin finish natural in dark just as my bronzer to warm up my face a little bit I love the shade of this I, I say it all the time it's a beautiful color it adds just the right amount of life back into my skin I squeeze my brush together here and just kind of lightly go down the size of my nose for some definition here I'm using the CoverGirl Ebony Bronze Concealer. I'm sorry, the Ebony Bronze Bronzer. Just the tiniest little bit of it on the outer corners of my face, keeping it nice and close to the hairline, not overly blending it. And I like to use that powder brush just to sharpen up the edges. Here I'm applying a little bit of blush. This is from Anastasia. One of my favorite blush trios here. And now I take a nice shower in Fix Plus. I love Fix Plus, guys. I'm addicted. <laughs> All right. And then what I love to do here with my highlight is while my um, Fix Plus is still wet on the skin, I like to take the um, Whisper of Guilt highlight and just kind of press that in with a small brush and kind of blend it so it gives your highlight more of a lift from within. But of course, it pops it as well. So that's my favorite technique to use. Here I'm just taking a little bit of the NYX Cappuccino Lip Liner. I like my lips to be nice and sculpted. And so I'll go around the lips with this. And then I'll begin to fill in the lips towards the center. I'll leave the center bare. Just so that I can use my finger to pat in a beautiful kind of a nude brown color. And I like to use my fingers for this because I wanted my lips to be a little a little more understated I wanted all the focus to be on the bronze of the eyes and so I, I thought if I used my fingers it would give it the look I was going for and it did I loved it I absolutely love this look guys thank you so so much for watching today here's some fun pictures I took at the end go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel rate and comment and let me know how you like it I'll see you guys back here next time for the next installment of Kim Ivy Makeup. See ya.